He knows more about it than I do. Can I put you in my pocket and carry it with me? No, we have first kids. He's a new friend. 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 He's I was there and two years ago. And it builds up I, I, uh, air pressure in things called air chests, and they literally in the way. I You set your air pressure by the weights on top of it. And that's how they regulate it. I thought you did great. Yeah, you did great. Believe it or not, there's another Scottish ride here in Oklahoma that has Kimball, not as big as this one. It helps. Yeah. Not nearly as good. Not nearly as good. No, it's not. I have a. Go ahead and give us a note. <laughs> You're not recording this, are you? Is that okay? Do you want me to start over? for concert flute and choir. And the solo. Come over this way. Andrew, you can come to the door okay. now for You know what, I shouldn't be taping, I should be trying to be safe. Is, there... Is it taping or? Yeah. Is the red dot on the? Yeah. Scrolls. Tuba Sonora. Oh, this was the pretty clangy one. Tuba Sonora, this is the uh, French horn, of course. Mm -hmm. Stentor phone. Oh, that's a loud. And I wanted to say... Clarion, maybe? Perhaps. Um, but you see, it doesn't go harmonic, which probably means it's already harmonic. You can see... Whoa! <laughs> Some serious business there. Leather lip. <laughs> Part of my toe. hair. Yeah! Welcome to the world of open toe voicing. Yeah, right. Um, um, and behind you, this is the tuba mirabilis. Oh, that's fat. And the tuba profunda. And then you can see the 16 foot tuba. Oh, really? The that's the tuba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. This. And this, look at how thick this metal is. It's got a weight, yeah. The creme de la creme of pipework. That's true. I mean, four, a four, the four foot of the stentor phone probably weighs 50 pounds, you know? <laughs> Some more of it. Um, this is the famous mellow phone. Uh, it's not oh. functioning right now. We've got it oh, it's not? But the mellow phone and that it um, continues here. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. What's 
What's the harmonic? Oh, that's the four foot solo flute, right? Four foot solo flute and the Gamba and Gamba Celeste. Those are good. I love the, the, they're, they're cellos, right? They're awesome. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm surprised. That's a small little hole. Can I see the mouth? I just want to see what they did for. Are you videoing this? Yeah. Okay. Or, yeah. I, I wanted to see what the mouths look like. So we got nicking in the mellow phone, but none in the harmonic flute. Okay. Um, That's why. Center phone uh, is behind you. The bases of them. Oh, that's right. That's and then, right. Of course, the cobra. Uh, Interesting. See, this is. Tim always told me about this hole. I mean, it, see, this is. Um, I think the seventh harmonic is kind of regulated here, but it, I thought it was adjustable, but I, I was wrong. So, make our way back that way. I'll show you the Inter floor. Okay, so there's one, two. King Cobra. Do you want to get a picture of any of this? Yeah. Fagato, right? Yeah, contra fagato. No, yeah. I wondered why it had. You know, remember how I said it, it? It sounds really good against the English horn. It's, it's also got. It's capped and it's got the little hole at the top. Yeah. So someone knew what they were doing harmonically when they designed this rank. Yeah. Here's the oboe, uh, cornopian, uh, clarion. That's a big. It's good size cornopian. I believe this is the. Um, uh, stand, or phonon, right? Uh, yeah, diapase and phonon. Was that lip? Oh. Was that lip? Oh, that's heavy, isn't it? Very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That actually, if the speech was quicker, it would be a very nice sound. You know what I mean? So swell is a double. Uh, that's my un humble opinion, but. That it is what it is, and we love it anyway. So that's what I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Cause sure. Strings over there, uh, and then there's. Um, there's a fagato bass. Is that a new doppel flute or something? No, that's a tip. It looks like a tibia of some sort. It's the soft flute. It's the Borden. <laughs> I've seen smaller tibias. Course, I've awesome. seen smaller tibias. The Clarabella is on the second floor. Oh, you got a pipe out of the hole. On the on the um, open wood. Yeah, I see that. So. That was probably uh, ciphering, and they just. So they put the string and celeste right next to each other. And then a yes, metal okay. harmonic flute. Could be or. Yep. Or the Celestes are upstairs because there's a set of strings upstairs. Oh. Oh, okay. And then there's a 16 foot board and the Clarabella. So this is the base of the Clarabella. Oh, duh. It says Clarabella. Why don't you read, Andrew? Is that a walk board? What? Is this a walk board? Like to get to the swell action or something? Oh, okay. I think that's it's, maybe it is because if you have to replace the pneumatic. Yeah. Is that electrical tape? Yeah. 
That's a pretty rank too. Ready to go to the choir? Just about. Don't break them. Nope. Wait, what did I break? You didn't break any. Oh, yeah. So make sure you don't break <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's a shoe on the floor. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out the rank. So, is the fifth rank a one foot on the cornet here? I don't know. It's a Dolce cornet. Two and two thirds, two. One and three fifths, one and a third, and one foot? Maybe? I don't know. It's so just a guess. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, the choir is up. All right, I'm gonna stop videoing so I can be safe. Oh, here it is. But now I'm videoing. Okay. Choir division. So that's the four foot forest flute, and then the harmonic flute Celeste. And then we have the harmonic flute. Mm -hmm. I think this is violin that I taste. Oh, wait, 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 the, the tapered rank? Yes. I believe so. No, I, this might be the Dolce, the Dulciana. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe. I think there's the violin. Of that. that could be that. That looks like a diapason, but it's not that. Um, big. There are all of the. What is the? Oh, that's right. The, so. Oh, that's right. It's called. It's, it's the pipes are marked sept. Yeah. Are, is it just tuned? I think it's just. No, I think they just. Wait a minute. No, I, look at it. Or. It might have been a septiam at one time. No, because one and a third would be longer. Yeah. So. And then um, clarinets here. Um, oh, there. Yeah, there it is. Is wilting a little bit, but. So if you look at the clarinet, if you pull a pipe out and look, like a medium-sized one out, yeah. And look down it, you'll see the shallot sticks up into the conical part of the resonator. Wow. And I think that it uh, helps with or prevents coupling of the resonator to the to the shallot. Because then the shock wave doesn't go back into the shallot, it goes down into the cone. Yeah. And, the, and so there's like advantages of that and disadvantages of that. The advantage is that the resonator does not have as much influence over the regulation. So you can use the resonator to tune the organ and or tune the clarinet, and then you can use the wire to regulate it. Oh. So that's what it's really, I think that's what it's designed for. And then the last division is the grit. And much of the pep. Yeah. That's right. That's right. If the shallot is protruding, that means you can change the resonator length to change the tuning without changing the color. That's the genius of the Kimball clarinet. Very heavy. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, this is the great. This is the foot over the wood. Oh man. I don't you talk. It must be behind this broom closet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this broom closet. Leather here. Feels really good too. Yeah. Feels supple. Here's uh. Here Wait, that go. one's a little dry, but this one's nice. Yeah. Um, well, you can see how they're marked. Yeah. Tibia is all the way in the back there. There's the trumpet, the reed chorus. That is a pretty, that tibia is a very pretty stop. Yeah. <laughs> so is that number one? That's almost too, that's too small to be number one diapason. Look at that scale. It's big, but it's not that. Is that number one diapason, Andrew? I don't know. It could be. I mean, it's leather lipped and a hot cut up, but. Oh, yes. Probably. Oh, it's number one? Okay. That's right. Okay, so then it comes into here. Oh, he, okay, so. I wonder about that. I think that might be number two because look where, look how the, the collars fall. No, that. 
That yeah, this is number. That's not number one, I don't think. So this one's leathered, lipped, and that one is leathered, lipped as well. Yeah. So. Oh, that is a great. I love this gamba. Mm -hmm. If this pipe is tilted, does that mean it's ciphering? Yeah, no. I would leave it. Okay. Can I pull it out to look at the mouth? Sure. Because I'm always interested in string voicing and techniques. It's the gamba? The gamba. Streicherbärten. Okay, I'm going to have a look at this in the light. 